Hello guys, it's Mal here. We're in the man cave reptile fish room. Doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. Here's a little pan around. And I'm not going to be doing much of the explaining. I'll leave it up to Carl and Troll. New River Troll here. Hello folks. This is George. We just could call him Carl once in a while teasing it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Uh, sorry it's taken so long to get to the final deal to show you guys. It's the fish tanks are going to take quite a bit of time. You know, they're kind of stable where they're at right now. This area behind me and those shelves there are all designated for all these tanks. And uh, But we've had to uh, keep our primary focus on the reptiles. We've been spending, of course, lots of money on these shelves. And uh, we've actually picked up a whole bunch, a whole bunch more of new reptile enclosures. Most of these 10 gallons here are empty. Some of our smaller things are in these 10 gallons. Those are cheap. I can get those on sale for $10 all day, all day long. Uh, but we've upgraded them to, to larger uh, enclosures, and those, those ones actually cost tax about $170 a piece. So it's, we're kind of taking it in there in the, in the shorts a bit. I uh, wouldn't be able to do this, this whole, take on this whole project if it weren't for George here. He's the guy who actually the actual owner to the pheasants, I'm just the technical advisor for that. Uh, but uh, a good percentage of these reptiles belong to him as well as, uh, as well as me, so we're basically trying to split this 50-50. And then George also gets, this is his, his, his man cave room too, and we're trying to keep it, you know, uh, ergonomically set up so he can navigate around here and keep spaces open between things so we can keep this uh, uh, clean and stuff and uh, stay on top of this stuff, but uh, anyway uh, Let me see You know we for the fish tanks here what the biggest part of the delay is saying is time consuming is I have individual pumps for all the tanks and that's uh, Costing you know more money and energy plus running all those mechanical devices for the pumps So we haven't got the pump out of here yet, but this is a, an industrial uh, pump for, for fish tanks and stuff so I still got to run a PVC manifold and some tubes, and then the lines to all the tanks. So I'm probably going to keep any videos, you know, after you know that primarily, fo you know, focused on those separately from the reptile end. So I guess we still got more to do in the reptile end. So now, if uh, you want to bring the camera over here and show them some of the reptiles, I'll show them some of the cages, and uh, we'll turn the lights yeah, off. Yeah, so shut off the lights real quick. When we started out before we were purchasing some of these new cages, we have lots of other cages available. But as far as these ones that have these open and door features in here, go ahead and get a sneak peek in here, Mal, whatever you gotta do. This here's a love fest going on with rosy boas. This year I didn't get to separate them. I got two males in here. Uh, this is a male here. I don't want to disturb him. him and. Uh, this other one here is another male here. So there's three females in here. They're getting business done when babies are born. I might not be able to tell who the dads are. Next year season, we're going to have more, more of these queries. And we're still not done. But we started out with just these, these, this, these two here and one of these. So these two here, these two here, and these ones here are all, are all brand new. We've still got to get, uh, I think we're going to get one more of these. And uh, a couple more of those. Uh, my fish tanks I'm going to put in here. I'll get back on that for a second. They're so large. I'm, one of them, I'm going to just take the top, the bottom shelf off of this one down here where my ice tray and stuff is. And the other one. We're going to have a 130-gallon aquarium. That's going to be like this wide, this tall, and as wide as the shelf tucked in under here. That weighs a, a lot. And these shelves are supposedly 2,000 pounds, roughly a shelf. Well, we're... Not going to do that though. We're going to take this shelf off here, this other bottom shelf off there, and the bottom shelf off of over here. We're going to pull them off of there. So, and uh, I, I, we got another one of these pieces on order, one of these side pieces. So we're just going to pull this shelf down and connect more shelving across here. This big aquarium, we're going to take it off the stand and it's just going to set on the floor. That would give us access to two more rows of shelves up here, and then and then also our, this is our mouse setup. 
I don't know if you can see in there with the light off, but uh, this is working out great for us. We're, we're also, as far as snakes, we're not going to keep anything that gets uh, larger. This is Mal's rattlesnake down here. Don't get case. close to, but you can kind of get up and shine down maybe a little bit. She can get some light on it. Yeah, she's, she, she got an upgrade in the cage too. That's a good one there. Okay. Yeah, she, she, she watches and pays attention, so we'll, let me scoot her back. Scoot her back a little bit. What was that? Don't turn on the music, bugs. That causes problems. That was Sarah's tablet. Okay, whatever. <laughs> you can get closer in there on it and sticking her tongue out. This only rattlesnake we have right now, I'd give it all away. Mine, mine were special, too. Real special keepers. I gave the, my collection away. I'm, so this might cause me to get a couple more since I'm setting up like this. Uh, I can always get babies back from the guys. This is JR's or George. George's uh, Sonoran Mountain King Snake. It's got an upgrade. This is a new cage for it. Where's he at, JR? I'm not seeing Spartacus in here. Now he cannot get out of this cage, but where did he go? Uh... Ooh, I think he might have went behind it. This is going to be fun. The background, you might have to secure that background. I got a hunch. He might have somehow. And you got this cardboard stuff on the back. Yep, that's exactly what he did, JR. <laughs> well, show him where he ended up. <laughs> We're going to have to secure this back. Inside. Back it doesn't look like him, but he's still inside. Well, he's I'm going to get him out his. now because I don't want him back there. Yeah. He's got him a nice house to hide under. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to. I've wondered about that. I'll just, okay. just slide this forward, JR. All I gotta do is reach down here. Come here, Spartacus. <laughs> yeah, beautiful crown king snake. I don't want the bark to slip underneath there either. And it's starting to. We're gonna have to fix this. This I didn't see happening. Yeah, it means this cage. We'll figure that later. It's not, yeah. it's not going to harm me to being able to get back there. We're just going to have to fix that. I don't want to have to go through this to find him. Okay, we'll try to get show Spartacus again. He's trying to go right back under there. <laughs> He's not having it right now. Yeah. yeah, Sonora Mountain King Snake. Caught up in Crown King, Arizona. Birthday present to Georgia about, about two or three years ago. He'll get a little bit larger. These beautiful snake colors, huh? Yeah. Yeah, anyway. These would be easy. They, these ones that aren't pulling it, they're too fat. Yeah. I don't think. And who is this? Peach and Hank? Or Beth, whatever it is. Oh. All right, we're going to go open up the rosy bows. This is a repeat. A Mal discovered the camera ran out of storage, so we had to delete some stuff. But anyway, this is Peach. This was a runt from the, from the litter last uh, November's litter. She's actually catching up to this one. This one here is almost two, almost two years. This is just shy of two, and this is just shy of one. And, uh, yeah, that's a Hark River Mountain rosy boa. That's another Arizona locale. All the other ones are basically California varieties. I have one Harkahala female here that's up, that, that a buddy of mine's putting in here to get hooked up with the male rosies I got up there. So they'll be a uh, mix of California and, and Arizona rosy boas. But uh, this is their new tank they got set up in. And uh, they just ate, each ate last night a little bit. Here, let me set you over here so when I set the log down, you can just crawl under it yourself. Yeah. Now just hunker down for underneath there until the, so they finish digesting their their mice. Did you, you got the mice, huh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sort of good. Yeah. And then over here, let me see if I can find the patch nose. Yeah. There he is. Nice. I'll get the light over over him. 
and then see if you can get a zoom in on his nose even, or I'll pick him up again so they can see why he's called a patch nose. You might be able to get that. If he turns around and looks at he's you. He's pretty bug-eyed. Kind of bring the camera around this way, more of a frontal. Yeah. So you can see if you can get it, that nostril scale and zoom in. And you'll see why he's called a patch nose snake. Yeah. But it's just a common snake out here in Arizona. You know, fairly common. He's got some pretty cool looking scales, though. Go over the alligator though. lizard before he disappears. Yeah. Arizona alligator lizard. Uh, that one's actually really plump. He was a lot smaller and a lot slenderer a little bit when we got him. Uh, he was a gift to JR. We had another one in with him, but uh, this guy was just being a bully to it. And this was the bigger, healthier one, so we ended up gifting the other one away. And, uh, come on, guy. I don't want to disturb him. See if you can zoom in on his head. But show, and look, show him how he's got real little legs. He's like that skink you got. Yeah. It's funny, you know, that's... Well, I've seen these... Could you still grab him, or... Huh? Could you still grab him? What do you mean? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Can yeah. I try to grab him? Oh, grab him and take him out? Yeah. Well, let me see. He's not usually the most cooperative lizard to come out. Mm -mm. You've got to be mm -hmm. careful because they can't, lizards can lose their tails real easy and that's yeah. what you really yeah. don't want. Oh, you see, he's mad. He's going to, he, he just bit me. That don't hurt. <laughs> I don't want him biting me, so I'm going to put him away. Okay. We don't normally, and there he gets, that don't even hurt. That doesn't even crawl <laughs> blood. But, uh, uh the, it, it can risk injuring the animal if they clamp on. Yeah. You know, and they could hurt their jaws and stuff like that. So we're going to put him away. Just get to zoom in up on, on him. Uh, California's got some species of alligator lizards that get like this thick. You know, can you see? Ooh. I mean, really thick, big, plump, plump ones. They're in a different uh, species. I don't even know if they're in the same genera. Look at him doing his tail weird and stuff, too. He's yeah. Doing his tail. He's kind of irritated right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, now I was going to go see if I could find the Sonoran uh, liar snake. Look at that fat thing. Get on there. Why ain't this going back? There you go. Sonoran liar snake. Mildly venomous uh, rear fang snake. There he is. Where is he? There we have it. He's pretty neat looking. He's got a cool pattern on him. Yeah, it kind of looks like a, a, bl a black tail rattlesnake's pattern. Yeah, it kind of does. Mimics it quite a bit. And he'll, he'll shake his tail too. He'll get quite, he'll get a bit bigger. He'll get about three and a half feet long hmm. eventually. And really super bright iridescent colors on him too. Nice. So anyway, that's him. You want to quickly, you know where the, his lizard's at. Yeah. His uh, rhino iguana. Just do another real quick look see at her. You gonna hold her? No, I don't even. Oh, she's up there. Go ahead. And, let's just not mess with her, but just if you can get her. She's pretty calm now. Yeah, but just she. You got a video of her before too. I have. I think. Well, if not, we we got one now. Let's not mess with her. You know, she's gonna puff up and open her mouth and all that stuff right now until she calms down. Yeah. Come over here. Take a look at these boas over here. Boa. And uh, JR's long nose snake. If, you, if any of you guys watch the, the show, the Viking series, you'll see some some name uh, names on some of these animals. That a lot of that's JR's influence. This here is Ivar the Boneless. He's actually that's his name, what JR calls him. But he's actually a long nose snake, and uh, he's pretty gentle. He he just ate two mice last night. And uh, he, he gets along with everybody for the most part. So he's in here. Be careful with this guy here. You can see some of the iridescence starting to show up on this boa, huh? Some of oh, the iridescence yeah. colors. He's got a Let me blue. see if I can get it to do it all. You Because you'll see greens and other colors, certain angles. This light ain't the greatest light for it. But you'll see an iridescent sheen coming off of him. Some other colors. But this one's not nice. He... He's, he hasn't bit me yet. I shouldn't have said this because of, you know, but you can see he's got a big old lump in him from eating last night. But, uh, yeah, 
he's calming down quite a bit, but uh, he's friendly with uh, these two. These two get along just fine. Of course, Ivar, he's, he's next in line on the upgrade, too. I don't particularly like... I see why they got this for this, this lid now, JR. The way this is, this is flimsy. Yeah. How did that lock down on the front? All the way around. It goes to two brackets on the top. In between there. Yeah, just like that, and straight down. That's it. And that's it? That that's don't it. do... That, what, that ain't doing shit, dude. That ain't locking nothing. Really? I don't know what the hell... But I don't like this now that I see this here. He, you know, he's not strong enough to do that, but you never know. And this, this ain't, that ain't doing shit. If that's what that features there for. Anyway, of course, the two Tegu lizards over here, they just got fed. Say they're uh, both purples. I kind of think they got mixed up, Dallas and those guys. I swear the one on the left is an Argentinian. They keep messing with the the taxonomy on on all these animals changing their names and stuff like that. I think they're ta they're calling these maybe Tupananda Salvador now. Well, Salvador's a new name. I don't know. I, I'm kind of old school on some of the previous classifications and my deal named or recognition. The one on the left is Tupanambus marinia, and then the blue one, or the one on the right, is actually supposed to be a purple. That one's a hybrid between. It's got a certain percentage of uh. Argentinian black and white jeans, a good percentage of Argentinian red, which was formerly or might still be Tupanambus rufusans. They mixed th those two, and also with a blue one. And uh, that one, uh, I've never been able to find this taxonomy name. It looks totally different. You'd have to look at the lizards, and if you know a bit about tegus, it looks more, to my opinion, the, uh, the tropical tegu lizards, which was... Uh, uh, Tupanambus Tegwixen, yeah, was their name. Let me open the door and check on them, see who's spunky and who's not. Okay, you are a Tegu lizard, so let me see if you are going to be cool. That was being a little spunky. <laughs> when I was a kid, about nine years old, my first pet lizard that I ever bought was a Tegu lizard. And it clamped onto my index finger for 45 minutes. And my parents freaked out <laughs> and called the fire department. And they actually came out and pried the damn thing off with two spoons. <laughs> two spoons. Used them like a lever. So that, that you know, I, 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 if, you, if you hear somebody yelling for spoons, you'll know what it's about. Because that actually worked. <laughs> and then they're like, what do you want us to do? To my parents, what do you want us to do with the lizard? I'm like, you ain't doing nothing. That's my pet, you know. But he clamped <laughs> on my finger for 45 minutes. Wouldn't let go. He put, I couldn't... Yeah, I didn't get rid of the lizard either. But, uh, shoot, I think we about covered everything in here. Just you yeah. see, we got empty shelves. Uh, we got a little ways more to go. It's going to take me a couple. I'm not, you know, I hope tend to oh, underestimate God. things. And uh, I think it's going to be a couple of weeks before I actually get something significant with these fish. It might take me a few days to get my pump manifold for just a few, few tanks. And then uh, i got to get the other piece for the shelf. And uh, give George a couple words. What do you think of this stuff, JR? I, I like it. I, I think it's going to work out good enough for me. Yeah, you get to keep all. Yeah. You, know, keep what, all. you know what you missed was his pocket mice. Yeah, but they're not out. Oh, um, yeah. They're not yeah. out. They're in the dark anyway. They're not out. Yeah, they're, they're funny little weird little mice that yeah. JR rescued. They're not like domestic guys. They're in a... There's tamer than any hamster than you've ever seen it. Oh yeah. These mice in here reach in there messing with them and don't like them. Yeah, I got I got nailed by one of them so a I, couple days ago. Yeah. Yeah. They are pocket mice. They just lay there and love, let you love on them and pet them and stuff. Yeah. yeah I don't like hamsters. No. <laughs> anyway, we should probably call it a uh, done so, deal on for for this one here, and uh, we'll get back at you with the, the next step. Oh, go get some donkeys then. Come on. Oh. Show them wild donkeys that are coming. Oh, in perfect, here. perfect, perfect. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? Well, yeah, and that's the wild donkeys. It's showing up. Yeah, oh yeah. 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 What's up, my I've man? I just chased off a pack of about fifteen of them. Donkey. Donkey. Okay. What's up? Yeah, that's over the just over the wall. He's a pretty dark one. He's kind of pretty. 
What's up? Is he coming out in there? Yeah. Yeah. Probably going over there by the pheasant food or the water thing we have out there. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> you gotta go to Say goodnight to the viewers, tortoise. It's like, get away from me. Get next to him, so you see how big he is. Yeah. Sit on him. A little step stool. <laughs> I actually used him to, like, look over the wall sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, since you're right there, I might as well. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, we'll see you guys later.